All right, guys, Dokkan time. And today we'll be revisiting Broly, Chi-Lai, and Lemmo. Um, their EZA is coming, the Dokkan. Uh, Dokkan is getting a EZA for uh, this one on Global. Uh, already out on JP for five or six months now. Uh, but I figure we go through it. 55%, uh, you know, just kind of go for dodge. He has a support unit. You can build him for damage dealing. At that point, I suggest mo more going towards crit with 15 and then 11 additional. Um, and then if you want to go for a more defensive build uh, support unit, you know, go full dodge. Uh, but just go ahead and put the rest into crit. I don't think that as this kind of the type of support unit that he is, that additional will help him defensively enough. Um, let's just kind of go look at his defense uh, compliments of Halvard, of course. You know, he is uh, he's not sitting too crazy. I mean, even with seven key spheres. Um, pull, post, like, triple super. One mil defense is not a lot. It's really not. Not in this day and age. Not after ninth anniversary. Not after Tanabata content. Um, you know, one mil is just, you know, that's like... We need that on norm one super. We need that on one super. We need damage reduction. We need guard. Um, so, I mean, he's not super crazy. Um, even with several additionals. You know, obviously, this is with only seven key spheres. But more than likely, you're not really going to always hit above 7 key spheres. Ideally, you're always hitting um, above 7 key spheres with him, though. But let's go over his kit. Um, he does have a one 200% option. I thought he had several. Uh, Broly is his only 200% option. Uh, he does greatly raise attack and defense on super. He greatly lowers attack on uh, also on that. Which is pretty nice. I'd say that's the one biggest benefit of... Uh, uh, his additionals is that he would be lowering attack of the enemy if able to. Um, he does uh, massively raise attack and defense for one turn. Uh, that's 100% attack and defense. Um, he has attack and defense plus 30% per key spear obtained. So that he doesn't have a base minimum. So that means if you want to get the average amount of um, attack and defense boost, you will need to get at least five key spheres to hit the, around the 150 margin. If those are physical key spheres, then you will hit up to 200% after five key spheres. Um, ideally, you want seven keys here, so he'll auto dodge, and that would put you at either 210% with non physical key spheres, and with physical key spheres, that would put you at 280, which is pretty good. Uh, but the main reason most people rock Broly, uh, plus an additional key plus two per key sphere attained, and all allies key plus two attack plus 39% with AGL or STR key spheres. All allies key plus two defense plus 39% with tech or intelligence key spheres, or all allies key plus two attack and defense plus 15% with rainbow key spheres obtained. So I do believe that these do kind of like stack on top of each other. So if you get tech and rainbow key spheres, then you will also be giving the attack and defense boost of 15% along with the defense boost of 39%. Um, attack and additional attack plus 39% when launching a super. Launch an additional super attack. Damage received reduced by 10% to all movie boss or super boss category allies when key is at 24 or more. So you want to get to 24 key with this guy. You want to get 7 key spheres. <laughs> there's a lot of... There's a couple of restrictions in here, but it's still pretty nice because you evade enemies' attacks with 7 or more key spheres. I mean, he does have a 50% chance to um, dodge innately, which is great. That helps quite a bit, especially if you can't manage to get the 7 key spheres. But I can't stress enough that this character is a dodger die unit. Um, randomly changes a non-physical type key sphere to physical type key spheres when HP is 60% or lower. And changes all key spheres to physical key spheres when HP is 39% or lower. This right here is a nuking um, passive ability in my opinion. So when this goes off, this dude is like, wow. We're, we're talking like, we're talking like. 35, I think, roughly. I, yeah, I think. I want to say it's like 35 per or 35 mil. Like you can really obtain as long as you have big bad bosses activated. Um, so he can hit a. They can hit a very large, uh, hit number of damage, and that's part of why I do have a crit build because, on the off chance that you get a lot of orb changing, I mean you have. Um, super easy a goku black that is a very solid option for the team that also changes key spheres to physical key spheres you can have several instances while using broly trio uh where they will just utterly 
dominate. And I, I can't I can't stress that enough. They can just straight up dominate with the damage that they have. So, um, but that is just one part of the build. Uh, the the weakest part about Broly uh, trio is that they just have very poor links. I mean, you just want to go for big bad bosses, shocking speed. Um, most of these links you will not share on movie bosses or super bosses. And uh, most of their best link partners, they're pretty not pretty much not on the same team with them. Uh, as a joined forces unit, a lot of joined forces units end up having um, missing links. But he still will share links with the other Broly. He'll be supporting the other Brolies, um, the other super bosses. So, I mean, they are still very good. Um, but yeah, 100% when you're using these guys, you're rocking him with the AGL Broly. That's just kind of how it is. Um, I normally throw in a roll tips for this unit, but honestly, the only team you're really rocking with this guy is 100% super bosses. Like, if you're not rocking this Broly on super bosses, you're just you're just using it wrong. Unless you're just constantly getting seven key spheres, and then you just have an auto dodge tank. So there is that to also keep in mind. Um, I would say, yeah, he pretty much only has the two leader options of Super LR, AGL Broly, and then uh, Physical Rose as the primary leaders. As far as other types of leaders, I mean, you could use Herudagarn. Herudagarn, you can throw him on Herudagarn's team, and then that's it. There is no other team leaders that you could really throw him at um, in this current content or uh, meta of the game. So, but anyways, I think that's going to be it. I don't even think I'm going to push this to a, for a full, like, 10 minutes. I don't want to waste anybody's time. Most people know how to build this unit, or have already chosen how to build this unit. But do tell me how you do use the LR Broly, Chilai, Limo, um, Easy ALR unit. Are you using them as a defensive unit? You know, are you going for that full dodge? Are you even giving them a defense equip? Um, do you not care about the damage that they can do? And you're just trying to get the correct orbs. You're going for those uh, tech and intelligence orbs. And you're trying to get seven orbs every single time. Or do you actually use this unit as a crazy, like, random nuker um, for a last bit case scenario? You know, you you give down to below 40% health. And you're just like, yeah, I threw all crit into him. And he's going to just nuke the crap out of the enemy. Um, I'm, just, I'm just really curious. I'm really curious um, what build choices people have chosen so please comment that down below and do let me know if there is any other units you want me to make a how to build for i am more than happy to make a build for majority of units just make sure you check out the playlist so, anyways guys thanks for watching have a good day and a good night